These are the glitchiest routes that no one knows about in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! Drop bombs, he could go all. They can score instant touchdowns. Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. And beat all the meta defenses in the game, man or zone. So if you want to see what routes I'm using for results like this, what? Stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. Man coverage is like Cover One and Man Zero Blitz are the online meta this year in Madden 23. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you guys several easy glitch routes that are guaranteed to beat these coverages so bad that your opponent will leave those defenses altogether. If you guys are enjoying this type of content, please be a subscriber and ring that notification bell as this topic has become a topic that I'm doing every month. So please hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue. This is the fourth video in the series, so if you guys didn't see any of the other videos like this, I have links on the description and on-screen pop-ups at the end of the video, so stick around for that. That. Other than that, all the plays and routes I'm going to show you today are in my offensive ebooks. So if you guys want more glitchy routes like this right now, you don't want to wait for future videos, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment, and you can download them instantly to your phone, computer, or have them sent to the email of your choice. I'm going to start off with some glitch routes from my latest ebook, The Buffalo Bills. This has some of the rarest and glitchiest routes in the game, as the first several routes I will show are all from this playbook. The first play is from a rare formation called the Gun Y Off X Close that was first added to Madden last year and is only found in the Bills and Giants playbook. The play itself is called the Mesh Y Out and the route we're going to be focusing on is the wheel route. There are a lot of different wheel routes in Madden. This formation alone has several different kinds and you even have a wheel route adjustment in your hot route menu available on every play. But none of them do what this wheel route does to man coverage. To show you an example, I will first choose the scat play from the same formation. Then I will choose the Overstorm Brave from the Nickel 2-4. I'm choosing this particular defense because it's one of the meta defenses in the game, but but also because this formation only has safeties and quarterbacks in coverage and I want to show that this route can beat the best man defenders on the field. But it will work even easier if your running back is manned up with a slower linebacker in coverage. On this play the running back will be covered by a safety and you will see that the route doesn't get open unless I were to try to come back to the ball and make a contested catch. Even if I bring the safety down to the line of scrimmage pre-snap, which you might think would make it easier to beat him deep, he is still in the perfect position to make a play on the ball and knock it away. That is because the route allows the safety more time to turn around since he doesn't have to turn and run right away, which defenders don't do very well in Madden 23. Regular wheel routes from your hot route adjustments are an improvement since they are shorter, but they are still hit or miss and really only work if you have a speed advantage and can switch on and out sprint the defender once the ball is in the air. Now watch what happens when I choose the mesh Y out play. This may look like a wheel route, but if I audible to a wheel route from my hot routes menu, you will notice that it changes ever so slightly as it now takes a harder cut up field. We saw in the wheel route from the scat play that the computer covers routes with less dramatic cuts better as it takes its time to rotate and turn over a longer distance, which is probably why the computer has a hard time covering this particular route. If I go to the replay, you'll notice that the safety rack is very different as he shoots down almost like he is expecting the running back to run a different or shorter route. This program reaction is why this route works the way that it does, because the running back is already in a full sprint and the safety has lost all acceleration once he has to turn and try to run with the receiver. You can see the second he turns around, he is already behind. Even if I change to a different defense like cover one man where the man in coverage starts to play closer to him pre-snap, you will notice that he still reacts the same way by closing the distance only to lose position once he has to turn around. Against man cover one, just make sure to streak the tight end to pull the safety back deep. And since running backs can't be pressed, this play will work against either off man coverage or man press and have the same success. The next play is also found in the Buffalo Bills playbook from the iForm Pro, and this play is called the PAX Dagger, which can be only found once again in the Bills and Giants playbook. The route that I'm going to be focusing on is this route here, so just make sure you have your fastest receiver in this spot. On defense, I'm once again going to be choosing the Overstorm Brave, but this will work against any man zero coverage that is in a press. The first thing you need to know about on this play is the blocking setup. If I pull up the play art on defense, you will see that the safety is programmed to cover the tight end, who is not running a route. In these situations, the safety will typically turn into a deep safety and double the deepest route in the area, which is a problem for this play. So make sure to put the tight end on a short route of some kind, either a curl route, a drag, or just something for a check down that beats man to pull the safety. If you need additional blocking, you can always block the fullback as the linebacker covering him won't react the same way and won't cover deep. 
Now the X route is a good man beater as well, but the star of this play is the B route. This route is essentially just a streak, but the long inside release animation that it takes all but guarantees that he will get behind any pressing cornerback, and if he has the speed advantage, it will be for a one play touchdown. As this is one of the best cornerbacks in the entire game, and even he stands no chance. This next play is the last play I'm going to show from the Bills and Giants playbook, and it might be the best one as it beats both man and zone. The formation is the pistol open flex close, and the play is the infamous RPO reflat wheel which has been banned from being used in EA sponsored Madden tournaments recently as this has a very well known glitch route in it that works against any man or zone. I already put out a full gameplay using this play as well as some run plays so if you didn't see that I'll have a link in the description but I've also put out a full breakdown of this offense on my second channel which I will have a link in the description for as well as it is definitely one of my favorite offensive schemes to use in this playbook. I just started this channel and I'm only about 200 subs away from being able to monetize it so if you guys could help me out and take a second to sub there I'd really appreciate the support. The route on this play that I'm going to focus on is the motion route. So once again, make sure to have your best and fastest receiver in that spot. This route really gets open against any man or zone. You just have to watch for when he gets open. Against zone coverages like cover three and cover four, you typically have to throw the ball right away and just bullet and pass lead either down or away from the defenders. But against man coverage, you just have to watch the cornerback trailing in coverage. If he follows all the way across, you can still throw it to him as the trailing quarterback is typically behind when following across. But to make this play even better sometimes the quarterback stops following halfway across the field altogether leaving this receiver completely wide open and uncovered the next play is a new play from my recently updated Green Bay Packers ebook. The formation is the strong close and the play is the wide trail. This play is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defensive formations. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this on my second channel, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But for now, I'm going to be focusing on this route and what it can do against man coverage. So as always, make sure to have your fastest receiver in this spot. This route can be both press and off man in very different ways. Against off man defense, this route is perfect to use with the the aggressive catch glitch as the cornerback makes sure to never let the route get behind him making it very easy to throw it short and come back to the ball once the cornerback turns his back if you don't know how to do the aggressive catch glitch i will leave a link in the description on a video that i made about several other passing glitches you can do in madden 23 but the real glitch about this play happens against man it doesn't happen every time but sometimes in press whether in man zero or man cover one the receiver doesn't get jammed at all and runs right past the cornerback for an easy touchdown i noticed this happen more when running it to the right side rather than the left so it's best to flip the play and run it in this direction i also notice it works more often against man zero as well if you're running this against man zero you'll once again notice that the safety is manned to the running back so if you don't want him to double team this route like they did in the play earlier i find it's best to block the fullback and put the running back on a check and release as he will still be a blocker with an option to run a route which is enough to keep the safety man to him in coverage so that's that's the vid as always please be a subscriber if you guys enjoyed the content other than that i will have another glitch routes video popping up on screen as well as the passing glitches video that i talked about so if you guys want to check it out i'm sure to help with your game other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below